Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So let's have a look at silver and gold right now. And the question on most people's minds are when or where is this going to break? When and where is this going to break, right? Because silver and gold has been just lackluster, right? It's been like a... <laughs> it went to sleep. <laughs> um, if I share with you uh, a bit, bit more of a close-up view here, this is uh, looking at silver right now. We can see silver has just been pretty much lackluster, right? For the last sort of couple of months, really not much going on. What's going to be the catalyst that's going to send this either way? Are we going to start the break down or are we... Or are we going to start to break up? That's the question that got in my mind right now because where we are right now, yes, we do have a bit of a downward trend, lower highs, lower highs. But if we start to break up and out of this, then we could see a big move in silver and gold and at least back up to $16 in silver. And then if we go to gold, gold's doing the same thing, right? Bit of a lackluster, moving down, not much going on. And you know, this is this is the resistance here as well too, right? So yes, we are creating high, lower high, lower high. This could be some sort of lower high here right now, right? So we don't want to, we don't want to be fighting the market, but if the market starts to give us a, a, a false breakout to the upside, then we could, if we, or if we, uh, sort of say a false breakout to the downside, sideways and then a break back up, we could easily see us gold back up to the top here. Now, if that happens, if we do get, if this is a false breakout, High, lower, high, lower, high, right? Now, right now, right now, it's not a false breakout because this could be another lower high and we could end up going down. But if we start to break back above this level through here and we start to really break back above, then we could be getting back up to 1340. If that happens, then that long-term chart, that long-term chart is likely, that long-term chart is going to create a significant higher low through here. And if that happens, then we could be getting ready to start a nice move and finally break after all this time, finally break that level. Now, if that happens, a big move will happen um, in gold and also silver as well too, right? A big move. Like my first target would be, would be uh, I would have to say uh, my first target would be, would be up here to 1800. That'd be my first target there. Now, it's... If you know anything about the markets, right? Look at the chart. Look at the chart. Look at the chart, right? Do we do we ever go straight up or do we ever go straight down? No, right? We go up a little bit. We go sideways. Go up a little bit. So don't get your knickers in a knot. That's oh, what's gonna go straight there? No, it's not. All right, we're not gonna get a vertical spike. It's not gonna happen in one day. Get your knickers in. Get your, you know, get it out of your knot, right? <laughs> get it out. It's probably gonna stay set. We're probably gonna go up for a few weeks, maybe for a month, and then pull back for a few weeks, and then go for another run, and so on and so forth, right? So that's what I'm seeing there right now. But my goodness, if this this could be the makings of a big move to come in silver and gold. Hey traders, I'm running a flash sale. It's a seven dollar flash sale to my brand new Grab the Markets by the Ballers trading course. If you go to johnsflashsale.com, you can get access to the seven dollar. Uh, massive sale that I'm doing right now for a short time. So go to johnsflashsale.com and I'll see you over there.